in the left corner, wearing that beautiful show. Oh, did you just see that? Okay, they're looking at me. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it, stay wildin'. What's up, my wild and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley. Oh, I'm about to get hit. Let's try that again, and with your boy Farley. All right, my wild and people, right behind me right there is Beverly's Pet Center. We're going inside because I need to find a nice snack or meal for my Diamondback Terrapin Turtle Oreo. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this, of course. Let's get it. Oh, take a look at these red, bright, well, they're saying bright orange, but they look a little reddish to me. No, they're orange, but take a look at these bright orange crayfish. These things are gorgeous. Oh, look at the contrast on that, and on that tree. That's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, and it seems like they've been molting. Either they've been molting, or they've been eating one each other. <laughs> they've probably been eating each other, maybe. Because that doesn't look like a molt. Rest in peace. Oh my god, even the little ghost shrimp are eating it. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a circle of life. So moving right along, let's see what else is available. Say something, oh. I'm giving up on you. Rest in peace. Oh, look at that discus. Oh, look at that. Those are those prime times. Very, very high quality, high super reds. Look at those blues. Sounds like big money color. to me. Big money, $139 here to be exact, my friend. Woo, moving right along. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And we've made it. Guys, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm here for, at Beverly's Pet Center trying to get some fiddler crabs. You may be wondering what happened to the 30 fiddler crab, the fiddler crab army that I had. Well, something happened and they all got eaten. Every single one of them. I don't know if it was a rat. I don't know if it was a raccoon. I have no idea what happened, but I bought these to breed them as well as keep them as pets as well as to feed them to my fish as well as my diamondback terrapin Oreo. Let the battle begin. <laughs> oh, probably heard me. All right, here we have Oreo just out here basking in the sun, having her this little tank temporarily to allow her just to bask, absorb some of that vitamin D. I'll leave her here for about 20 more minutes and then we'll give her that little snack. All right, our girl Oreo has relaxed. It's good to go. Let's pick her up real quick. Oh, look at that show. You ready for a meal? You hungry, girl? Beautiful turtle and very healthy turtle overall. Let's go get you that snack. Oreo has entered the battle arena. The fiddle crabs right here have been acclimating, so they should have a fighting chance, if you will. I like doing live feedings with Oreo because in the natural habitat, that's Oreo would encounter these fiddle crabs and try to take a bite out of them. In the left corner, we're in that beautiful show. Official weight is less than half a pound. Zero fights, zero victories, zero knockouts, zero aquarium titles. Today, Oreo has come with something to prove. A natural killer. No experience. Ladies and gentlemen, the hungry, the destroyer, the cute but deadly. From Blake's Exotic Animal Rants, the one and only Oreo, the Diamondback Terrapin. And in the right corner, wearing a massive claw, we have a noble snack, I, I, I mean opponent. One pinch with that claw will leave anything stunned. Straight from Beverly's Pet Center, we have three fiddler crabs. Here's the first fiddler crab, one of three. Let's go number one. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, the match has begun. What? I've never seen this in all my five minutes of boxing history. The crab has topped on top of Oreo's back. This must be some type of defensive play. The defensive mechanism. Oreo's trying to fight him off, but at this point, the crab is hanging on for dear life. We may have to stop this match. The crab is just chilling. Alright, let's reset the match. We set the opponents. Alright, we did so. Oreo sees him. Alright, so now Oreo is stalking his opponent. He's moving inch by inch, closing in on him. Is he gonna strike? Is he gonna strike? Ooh. The opponent is now cornered. Can he strike back? Is he immobilized? The crab is still trying to hang on. He's trying to go. Just like that, it's a done deal, guys. It's a KO. It's very clear who the winner of this match is. Oreo is ruthless. He is just devouring his opponent bit by bit, piece by piece. Ooh. Oreo 
warrior still has a thirst for blood. Look at him go at it. Look at the strength of those straws. Look at that. A girl Oreo is a natural born killer. Fiddler crab number one stood no chance. All right. Crab number one stood no chance. Looking for more pieces, and yeah. Opponent number two. Fiddler Crab number two is up. Will this be the same outcome as Fiddler Crab number one? We drop him in. And he has decided to take the same stance, the same type of tactic. He is on top of Oriole's show. Okay. Oil seems unamused, unbothered. Oh. He's going to the side. Oreo has spotted his next, his next opponent. He's inching his way, he's inching his way. Game speed. Oh, he said it's a rumble. It's a rumble. Okay, they're looking. Oh. This one is spicy. This fiddle crab has some spunk to him. Look at the jabs, look at the hits. Look at this. He's retreating, he's going back, he's cornered. Oreo's going at him. Look at that claw. Watch out for that claw. Oh! He took a hit. Oh! What is going on? Look at the stuff. Oh, he's fighting back. Look at the grip. Look at that. He has Oreo. The Fiddle Crab hole. Oreo was able to release himself from the Fiddle Crab's hold. Now Oreo is stunned. Not moving, not sure what happened. The crowd is going wild. Is he gonna retreat? The fiddle crab is also stunned. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been one heck of a match. It seems as if both, both opponents are just resting. Both opponents seem exhausted, they crazy. are worn out. Let's give him a break. There's Oreo. He's getting some air. Is he ready for more? Looks like the crab is. Ooh. Ooh. Just like that. Oreo finished him off. Look at, look at the jabs. Look at the bites. Ladies and gentlemen, it's over. The crab is stunned. It's immobile, immobilized. Oreo is devouring the fiddle crab piece by piece, just like his last opponent. Did you guys hear that cracking? It's a done deal. The clear winner of this match is no other than Oreo! Ooh. Look at the remains of the crab. All right, Oreo, that last battle was intense. Did you think that crab was gonna back down? No matter what happened, you did not give up. What do you have to say? Okay. <laughs> That's insane. Oreo is a monster. Look at that. Two fiddle crabs down. Oreo destroyed them. One more to go. Entering in the ring, number three. Fiddle crab number three. Does Fiddle Crab number three stand a chance? Maybe at a disadvantage because his big claw broke off as we were removing him from his bag. Two matches out of two matches, Oreo has been nothing but victorious. Let's see what happens to the third opponent as the battle begins. Um, Oreo has his thirst for blood. It's over. Oh, okay, oh, he's striking. Look at the strikes. All it took was only one bite. One bite and it was over. It's done just like that as well. And the winning undefeated champion is Oreo, the Diamondback Terrapin. That's three for three. Three KOs. 
You see, just like that. All right, Oreo, after three battles, three matches, he came out victorious every single time. What do you have to say? Subscribe to my boy, Wild Water Fire. Yeah, yeah. Look at the face of a champion, of a warrior. Still going at it. Destroying the remains. Alright, my Walden people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Shout out to my girl Oreo. She's straight destroying. Destroying her opponents. Guys, comment below and let me know what opponent you want to see Oreo destroy next. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.